Hi, I'm Dr. David Saperstein, Director for the Center for Complex Neurology, EDS, and POTS in Phoenix, Arizona. I'd like to talk to about Chiari malformation and related issues. So why are we talking about this? Um, Chiari malformation is something that uh, seems to be more common in people with EDS and other connective tissue disorders. Um, Chiari malformation, named after somebody named Chiari, is a situation where the back of the brain comes down lower than it should. So at the base of our skull, there's a hole called the foramen magnum that our spinal cord passes through. So just above that is the bottom of the brain called the brainstem. And then behind the brainstem is a part of the brain called the cerebellum that's involved with sort of coordinating our movements. Uh, when the cerebellum doesn't work right, that's when we might be unsteady or have trouble doing fine movement or being dizzy. And the bottom of the cerebellum generally comes a little bit to a point and it's, it's, it's often referred to as the tonsil, the cerebellar tonsil. And there's a normal range of how far down towards the frame and magnum that tonsil or the part of the cerebellum should go. If it comes down too much, too many centimeters, and certainly is in the frame and magnum and can be taking up space that normally just the spinal cord should have to itself, that can lead to what we call crowding. So sometimes on the radiology report, they'll see there's crowding of the frame and magnum, which is obviously doesn't sound good. If you've got your spinal cord, if you've got your brainstem, you've got your cerebellum that are potentially being pressed on, that, that can cause problems. Sometimes the cerebellar tonsil is lower than it should be, but not low enough to be considered a Chiari malformation. And then radiologists may use different terminology for that. So it may be called tonsillar herniation, it may be called tonsillar descent, it may be called low-lying cerebellar tonsils. You see there's a, there's a lot of different terms and, and the radiologists will often use them interchangeably or radiologists might have sort of a favorite term, so different reports will say different things if they're read by different radiologists. Um, so what does it mean if the tonsils come down lower and it's not quite a carry malformation? Well, that's a good question, and that's, that's, that's a very uh, contentious or controversial area. So many physicians think that it doesn't mean anything, and it's just a little bit of variation. Other physicians believe it could be causing problems, but the true answer is it depends. So sometimes it's a problem, sometimes it's not. And they, that's, that's where it gets complicated, is figuring out when it might be causing problems for somebody and when something might need to be done about it versus not. Um, so as I alluded to, based on the tissues or the parts of the nervous system that are involved in that frame and magnum in the back of the brain, so problems can involve coordination, they can involve dizziness, they can also involve speaking, slurred speech, it can involve trouble swallowing, it can affect vision.